Hi everyone, it's day 9 of the 3 week product build challenge and today was all about the MVP launch which it failed uh, apparently and uh, so I think today was the most hardest day of uh, the 9 days that I've crossed so far uh, because I had to scrap the entire product launch but we'll uh, get into the details of it soon so today the actual plan was to first um, you know go ahead with, uh, with learning the G develop platform uh, and getting to know more about it um, and then maybe the second half was the plan to actually launch the MVP among the set of people do the analysis and then conclude uh, but then uh, what ended up happening was that uh, even though I started off with learning a little bit about the G development platform G develop platform um, you know at the back of the uh, back of my mind I always had the thought that the MVP was just not good enough Right. So the I felt the questions were a lot basic, and um, I felt like with the product that I had, the uh, overall solution that I had, I felt like I wouldn't be able to validate my hypothesis at the end of the day. Um, so I was a lot concerned. Um, you know, I was not very uh, bullish on the questions I had, and whether I'd be able to just hype. Um, validate my hypothesis with those kind of uh, set so then uh, I had to have an objective way of either accepting that thought or rejecting that thought right I couldn't just go on with that thought so I did a couple of test runs uh, I couldn't I put myself in the in their shoes right so I opened up the questions as if I was a user and I tried to see if uh, whether how I'll be able to answer it and I also try to see okay once I answer it if whether I'm able to accept or reject my hypothesis that's it simple right and I felt like I couldn't validate my hypothesis with many things that I had in there and uh, so I had to go again uh, revisit everything uh, try to change a couple of things lot of back and forths with chat GPT and uh, uh, I actually, uh, I mean, one thing I forgot to mention was that the community is now 60 years strong. Uh, so uh, I thought it would reach around 50, but it crossed 50 uh, and it went to 60, which is uh, not something that I had expected. But yeah, sure, uh, I think that's a great news. So I reached out to the community. I saw if any people were interested. So initially, I had 40% in mind would at least be engaging because it was a very small focus uh, focus group that was present in there um, but contradictory to all my thoughts uh, I think around the engagement rate was somewhere around 16% from what I've seen so far um, so uh, so I went to that uh, I asked uh, started asking people on what would be a good time to uh, do the time maybe launch or uh, would they would be available to do the test and uh, you know there were three set, four sets of people, uh, majorly around um, four out of let's say ten for an example. Forty percent of the people initially said we'll do it at four, four p.m., four to five p.m. Sorry, six to seven p.m. And then another set of people said nine to ten p.m. Uh, and a couple of people in uh, other two places. And uh, finally, uh, I said that okay, we'll go ahead with six to seven p.m. And I started preparing everything for launch. Um, but I just feel uh, I just didn't feel like it, right? So uh, I said, okay, due to a uh, few operational issues, I'll come back to it and uh, we'll again launch it maybe at nine to ten, since that was when uh, initially uh, two people had uh, uh, signed up for it at nine to ten, and then after I said that we'll do it at nine to ten, two more people signed up for it, and I expected at least ten people to be there because. Uh, I just didn't want to do it again just for the sake of it so uh, but anyway at least four people signed up for it so uh, whoever at least you know uh, responded I wanted to uh, do justice to that so uh, I thought of again 9 to 10 and I again you know kind of uh, went back and forth with all the questions that I had and then I had to take a call right it was 9.30 sorry it was 8.30 and the launch was at 9 
and I just didn't feel like it, right? So I felt like at the end of the day, I won't be able to validate my hypothesis and I just didn't want to waste people's time, right? So people are, uh, people were interested to spend time to see how my end product was. So if I myself am not confident with the product, then I felt, uh, no, I just don't want to waste people's time. Um, so I scrapped the launch. Uh, I had to take that call. Just one thing that came to my mind uh, recursively was, you know, Dr. Abdul Kalam's uh, uh, story of launching one of the uh, rockets. So uh, he was like, I just, uh, just about the period of launch, before two minutes or something, um, there was an error saying that, okay, you have to abort the launch. The system said that it has to abort the launch and then he still went ahead and launched it and it failed. So. I just didn't want to be there. Um, while I was ready to accept failure, as a result, uh, when I could foresee that it's not working out, I didn't want to go ahead and launch it. So I scrapped it. At the end of the day, that's what happened. So uh, now again, coming back to the point. So first, again, I want to, um, you know, uh, plan the entire day tomorrow. Uh, just sit and finalize the MVP and also I reached out to the community to ask if any uh, experienced PMs present in the group would be uh, willing to volunteer and you know take a look at the MVP that I had with uh, a non-biased mind and to give me some critical feedback before I even launched it so that um, you know I don't go into the delusion of uh, whether it's okay or not so once there are uh, people who can validated with an open mind, then I think that bias will just go out of the picture. So uh, I think that's a call I've done tomorrow. Uh, I mean, not call. So once uh, I complete the MVP from my end, once I'm confident with it, I'll, I'm, I've planned to call these people up to check what is their uh, view about it. And um, once that works out, then I will plan for the MVP launch. Uh, I just didn't want to do half-baked work and um, waste people's time so yeah that's the plan for tomorrow just focus on the MVP get it done so I think we are delayed by a day I, I wanted to so the actual plan was to conclude the MVP uh, feedback synthesis by today and then the next two days the planning uh, and building of the uh, beta version and the next sorry the next three days and the next two days was for testing and uh, you know all those sort of stuff but, uh, you know, when the MVP itself haven't been um, kind of uh, validated yet, I don't want to go ahead with uh, the rest of the things. First, I want to validate the MVP, then I'll go ahead with the rest. So that's the plan for today. Just um, focus on the MVP. Um, I think one mistake that I did and I'm still doing is relying on chat GPT for everything which uh, slowly I am feeling like I don't want to because I myself if I sit and uh, you know just think about it for maybe two or three hours I feel I myself will be able to come up with uh, decent kind of questions um, and I felt like chat GPT was just going all over the place uh, so yeah, um, so that's one change that I'll be trying to do tomorrow. I feel ChatGPT is not working out for now. So I'll spend maybe two or three hours trying to come up with my own questions based on what I've seen uh, in the appraise uh, thing. So if that also works out, then yeah, sure, I'll uh, finish the MVP within the first half if it just takes three hours or so. So uh, even if, let's say, we keep one hour buffer, I start at 8 I should be able to complete it by 12 and then maybe I'll take a couple of uh, uh, I'll reach out to the people who have signed up for volunteering to help me uh, analyze the MVP and then get their feedback and if that goes right then I'll uh, announce the launch I'll check for people's availability and if possible I'll try I'll try to launch it by tomorrow uh, I would really like to launch it by tomorrow because already tomorrow entire uh, thing day which I had planned for development is gone. 
So uh, at least by tomorrow I want to conclude it. So let's see if I can conclude all that and complete the analysis by tomorrow and come up with a good set of results. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want to validate the MVP, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I think if that's done, I think uh, tomorrow would be a great day. After today's failure, that would be a great recovery. Uh, if not, it's still fine. I think it was an experiment and it's going like an experiment. So I think that's how it is supposed to go. Uh, I was open to having failures. So I think I'm still, um, while it's always hard to, you know, lose out on something, scrape it at the last second. Uh, but yeah, it's a learning. One thing I'm still trying to understand uh, where I did wrong was why I did not have the thought of, uh, you know, validate, uh, checking whether it's validating my hypothesis for the last two days. I think if I had done that uh, objective way of just checking whether it's validating my hypothesis instead of just thinking whether the questions are, uh, you know, uh, good or not, I think I would have scra uh, scraped it long back uh, and just, you know, even though I was just going back a lot, uh, uh, back and forth a lot, I felt like uh, I would have been able to just stop everything and just maybe stop looking at chat GPT since yesterday and maybe at least by today I would have had something in place. But anyway, again, it's a learning, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I think... Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a recovery and uh, set things back at pace. So yeah, uh, that's it for today guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Do uh, like, comment, share and subscribe if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.